So I'm Akim Harriman. I'm Associate Professor of Political Science at Carleton University in Ottawa. Um, I'm uh, currently director of our Institute of European, Russian and Eurasian Studies, which has an MA program uh, in uh, the European field. And I'm also co-director of the Center for European Studies at Carleton. My main field of expertise is legitimacy and democracy in the European Union. So I do lots of empirical work on various aspects of uh, political debate about European integration, uh, both in the media, in parliaments, but also amongst citizens. How do they talk about Europe? How do they perceive European integration and the European Union? Uh, but I also use some of the insights from that empirical research for some more theoretical contribution to the debate about democracy and the democratic deficit of the EU. Well, we certainly observe uh, that there's more discussion about Europe in the light of the Eurozone crisis, in the light of the refugee crisis. Uh, Europe has hit media headlines to an extent that it did not 10 years ago. Uh, so many people have said that leads to a politicization of European integration. That means there's more debate, more controversy, more people engage in discussions about Europe. And that's certainly true. At the same time, what we have not really found is a big increase in the knowledge of citizens about Europe and European integration. And we also have not seen any dramatic increase in participation rates, for instance, as we know, in the European Parliament. So I'm trying to uh, disentangle some more how exactly this politicization looks, who is talking about Europe, how they are talking about Europe, what are the controversies that drive these debates. Well, I, I arrived in European studies more or less by chance when I did my um, undergraduate education and my diploma, which is like an MA in Germany, I was very interested in constitutions and uh, mainly in the German constitution. But then that was right the time when the European Union launched its constitutional project. So there was this exciting initiative of trying to create a constitution for Europe. For me as a young scholar who was interested in constitutions, that was fantastic and fascinating. So I turned my attention to Europe. Now, as you know, the constitutional project failed, but I remained in the Europeanist field. Uh, and then when I was hired to Canada, of course, this also became much more explicitly my institutional role. I was hired, obviously, for a position in, in European politics and European Union studies. Um, and since Carlton has this um, emphasis on the field, uh, that was a very good fit, and I continued along those lines. And regretfully, I haven't done much on constitutions recently, even though I still find that a very interesting topic. Mm -hmm.